when you're allowed to just make noise and realize how it does affect your whole body. When I imagine installations, I'm always seeing them in my head as a physical thing almost. Like sound to me is such a physical thing. And this idea of toning is, is very old. It comes from, say, the idea of monks singing, you know, Gregorian chants, all sorts of spiritual, like um, the indigenous people in Canada have this way of toning and, and chanting. There's many ways, I mean, you can work with vowels like a, I, O, U, you know, or, and then you could also just do OM, or you could, um, many people respond to each other when, say, there's a group toning together physically, which is usually the case, because toning is used as a therapeutic system. It's used as a health aspect. So then you have many people around and they sort of respond to each other. So then I might be going, and someone else might go, you know, that sort of thing. It's a completely experimental piece. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I don't know if it's going to contribute to wellness. I don't know if it's going to be therapeutic in any ways, but it's experimental also in that the audience will come in and we'll have speakers all around us in different ways, as well as some up above, and they can just sing along if they want. And at the end of the day, those voices will be mixed into the whole thing. So it's a completely ever-expanding, ever-changing piece. I have um, a meditative practice that, that I use, that, and to get myself calm to go into meditation, I do simple, like, toning, like, um, you know, like you, because then you feel the vibration all through your body. And the other thing, if you're ever depressed, angry, whatever, you're coming home, you're driving home and whatever, Sing at the top of your voice, you know, sing as loud as you can do, like, somewhere over the rainbow, you know, that sort of thing. And all of a sudden you're feeling better. So I hope that the installation allows you to come in and just, just, just go for it. So I liked this idea that, you know, people want to perform and put it on TikTok or something like this, that people want they're not, they're not satisfied as much anymore with just being audience. Some people who are coming in who do a lot of singing. They know how useful is singing in a choir is to their mental health. And then you'll have other people who are very, very reticent about using their voices. And, and then some people who will be going off key or different things. So I think it's, it's nice that you will see that um, you have the personal, the individual, mixing with the community. I think the, I think the key message would be to think about your voice and your body more in terms of how every time we speak, there's a certain amount of vibration within your voice, but when you're singing, you can actually feel the vibration in your voice. So be more aware of, of what happens when you do create those vibrations. You can be creative just by having fun with your voice. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to perform for someone else. You can perform for yourself, and you don't have to judge yourself. I think that's very important that... I hope we create a situation where it's non-judgmental. In the meditative practice, it's, it's more like you start with a mm, and I can feel the vibrations all the way down to my toes. And then you can mm, oh, oh, 
can go through the vowels like e that um, there's so much about the head. It's, it's, it's a parallel equivalent to how we view nature. We view nature as us at the top and then nature. But no, the trees are connected to underground. All the trees communicate, you know, through uh, neural networks of, of the nature and there's, you know, This conference is a very good step in the, in the right direction to make people more holistic. <laughs>